Hey guys, it's Randy with Rolling Rock Posh. It is Tuesday morning. Monday got away from me, so Tuesday here I am. I have been working on trying to put together a thousand dollars in sales box for ThreadUp. So I went through all my prior 2000, what was it, 2020 and 2021 sales to see what sold for the most at ThreadUp because we all know that ThreadUp has really good value on some stuff and it's stuff that I found is a little bit shocking. It's, I would say, more mature brands um, like Calvin Klein, like classic. Classic's a better word than mature. So like Calvin Klein sometimes gets overvalued or um, like North Face, that's not necessarily a mature brand, but I get a lot for my North Face pieces when I send them into ThreadUp. So um, Fry Boots, things like that. Basically, Tory Burch, like whatever is in this box. Um, let me show you what I've got going on. I have a massive box right here. So what I'm doing today is getting this box ready to go. It's been sitting at my front door forever. I travel on the road a lot for my other job, so I'm just now getting to this. So I've got my drink, I've got my scissors, and I've got my goo gone and a rag. So this is what's going on. I have a large Home Depot box back here, taped up and ready to go, and then the one I'm working out of. Initially, I was gonna send this one, try to get $1,000 in sales out of it, and call it a day, and I was actually sourcing <clears throat> on Poshmark, on Mercari, um, wherever I could find these items that I've been selling for high profit on, or for high sales amount on ThreadUp. So now I'm specifically going and looking for more of those items. So I've been using Mercari and Poshmark and estate sales and thrifting to find these items. So um, I'm the pile's so big, I'm probably gonna have to send two boxes. So we'll see what we can do. So this is a cost of goods video. I go over everything I'm sending and what I paid for them. So the Mercari sales are in my phone and I'm recording on my phone. So I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video or an insert to this video on anything that I got from Mercari. So one of the things I found was something called Kate Spade Saturday. This is a size two little black dress. And Kate Spade tends to do well for me on ThreadUp, so I'm gonna send this in. You wanna make sure all your price tags are gone. This didn't come with a price tag, and I do roll all my items to try to get as much in this box as I can. Um, you cannot go over 30 pounds, I think it is. 30 to 50, I think. I think it's 30. So. All right, so that's in. That was Mercari, I'll have to look up the cost of goods. Um, another Mercari purchase were these fry boots. Um, also, you need to make sure that your size tags are, are viewable. The brand tag is in here. Let me make sure the size tag is in here. Yes, I can read the size on here. These are, it's too dark in this house right now, a size six. So if you don't have a readable size tag, thread up most likely is gonna send it back to you or, or if you're not paying for return assurance, they won't send it back to you. They'll just keep it and not list it. So make sure your items have size tags. I'm gonna put these at the bottom of this box. Okay. I'm trying to make them as flat as possible. So I can fit as much stuff in here as I can. Um, okay, these, Tom Taylor, I had never heard of these, but the tag looked nice and comps looked good. Um, the price tag says $8.99. Now, typically when I go shopping, I go and get either a 20% senior or first responder discount at my Goodwill any day of the week, um, or I go on Wednesday, which is double discount day. So. Um, that's usually, you take the 20 and you double it, it's 40% off. So most of my stuff I'm not paying full sticker for. I got it on a sale day. Um, these, let me just make sure that they have the size in here. Yes. All right. So we're going to send these jeans in and see what they do. Hmm. Let's see. Thinking about keeping them for myself for a second. I think I'll send them in and see, see what they do. Hopefully it's one of those sleeper surprise brands that thread up way values high. We'll see. Okay, so that's three items. Um, these have done okay for me in the past. They're the Not Your Daughter's Jeans. 
These are a size 10. The bigger, the better with these. I think these jeans fit better on curvy ladies. I'm a curvy lady, so I know. Um, $7.99 is what the tag says for cost of goods. Take all the little Goodwill barbs and stuff out. These are black and they are straight leg. They aren't skinny. So those seem to be trending right now. Straight leg, straight cut, boot cut, flares, bell bottoms, all that. Um, today is February 15th, 2022. Okay, four items. All right. Another not your daughter's jeans, size 18, $8.99 sale tag, price tag. Mm -hmm. And these, yeah, are size 18. Plus sizes seem to do well for me. And not your daughter's jeans have been doing better for me on thread up. So I am specifically sourcing for thread up. Okay. Hmm, jeans are really heavy. I guess I'm gonna line the bottom of this box with jeans. I'd rather not send an all jeans box, but let's get them out of here. They're all going to the same place anyways. Um, these jeans are, what does it say? It's so dark in here, I can't see. Black? Hmm, what is black? Buckle, buckle black. Okay, I must have done comps on these. Uh, $8.99 is the price. These actually may do better on Poshmark, we'll see. Um, they are a little ripped up in the pockets. I think they're supposed to be that way. And it looks like a smaller size. So if they don't take them, I pay for a return assurance, especially on these upper boxes. I'll pay the $10.99 for it. Um, I have news. So everybody knows I have a personal account and a business account with ThreadUp. So my personal account has finally unlocked some labels. Most of my boxes that I sent, like the 15 or 20, um, are finishing out, so I think that's what's going on. So this box will be going probably under my personal account again. I'm excited that labels are available. It does happen, they do get unlocked. I was beginning to think that that was BS. Okay, another pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans. These are size 16, $7.99 is what the cost of goods tag says on them. For those of you that are watching, I'm out in Las Vegas. Most of my thrifting is in Vegas, but I do travel on the road a lot for work, so I will go to the different thrifts while I'm on the road. This year it was a lot of West Coast stuff. Um, it was California, Oregon, Washington. Um, I have family out in Illinois and in Denver, so that's, that's where I do the majority of my thrifting. I have a state family. Okay, big star. $6.99. And like I said, most of these I'm getting for 20 to 40% off. Occasionally, like if I'm in Colorado, I don't get a discount. If I'm in Illinois, I don't usually get a discount. In Vegas, it's weird because Vegas is already the cheapest and then you get more discounts. So we're in the middle of the desert. I think they have a harder time moving product. So once we get good deals out here, I guess. Nobody's really out here in the desert. Okay, uh, Athleta, um, 10 tall Athleta. Again, these could possibly do maybe better on Poshmark. I don't know. I've had Athleta do good and not so great on uh, ThreadUp. So I'm gonna try these again because they're a bigger size. Bigger sizes always seem to do sell better. I think there's more bigger folks out there than there are smaller folks. Okay, I think we're out of the jeans situation. Now we are heavily into shoes. Um, that's a little tip. If you're just starting out selling uh, shoes, if you just stick with shoes, you could be fine. Um, so I have some Tory Burch flats. These were another purchase, and they don't have to be perfect as long as they're, you know, decent looking. It doesn't, the bottoms are fine. They're worn, but ThreadUp knows that. It's the world's largest thrift shop. So online. All right, so I am going to pop these here in the bottom. Okay. These, I'm curious to see if they'll take. I bought these for the sole purpose of reselling. 
And these were very, very, very expensive. I think these are Tory Burch as well. Expensive boots, um, new and even used. I think I might've paid upwards of like 40 or 50 for these. I'm not sure. And I was so pissed when they came there, I'm missing a stud. So we'll see if ThreadUp notices, we'll see if they sell and take them anyways. Really good brand, so hopefully. Try to strategically fold these so they fit and don't take up a lot of space. And don't lose more studs. Um, this I have sold, this is a mini, mini Ella, Tory Burch Ella. I've sold the full size Ella before. A full size usually goes between 80 and 100. So we'll see if this one nets the same. This one might be a little less because it's smaller. Hmm. I don't want this to get scratched or ripped. Put that down there. All right, Eileen Fisher. These look like a little bit of a bigger size. I think they say nine and a half. Uh, these I sourced on Mercari too. All this, all this last few things that weren't jeans are Mercari, so I'm gonna have to look up prices on all this. Basically, from what I remember, it was anywhere from, I would say 18 or 19 to 50 bucks for some of these. I definitely paid up. Like I said, I'm trying to make $1,000 in sales from one box and I found through going through my stats that um, my sourcing's getting better. My acceptance rate is getting better. Um, I fit up to, it's usually between 25 and one time I got 40 items in a box. Um, the lighter weight and the thinner they are, the more items you can put in there. But with bulky stuff like shoes and boots, that 30 pound weight limit happens really fast. It might be 50, I have to double check what it is. But um, I think it's 30. But anyways, um, shoes and jeans get heavy, so I might not be able to put as much in there. But um, yeah, if I can get them to accept 30, 40 items, that's a good box to me. And then if they're quality items, they should sell. So, and those of you that have been watching, you know that I mark my thread up prices. I change my prices when they get them. You have a 12 hour window to do it and they'll let you up your prices all the way to 80% of what their algorithm deems their highest retail value. Um, if you go above 49%, if you want your items back, you have to pay $5.99 per item. So be careful with that. Um, I do it. It's worth it to me because in my earlier days when I was doing this, like there have been boxes that I've actually lost money on. You don't want that to happen. Don't send in junk. Your sourcing will get better. And then I've also made 700 items off a box. So you look at the numbers and you see what's selling that got you that and you try to find more of that. And that's what this box is. I really want to try to break a thousand, but I did pay up for it. So we'll see if it works or not. All right, where's the other one of these? I don't see it, so let's, okay, let's see here. Um, these are Tory Birch, they're wedges. Uh, I believe these were sourced online as well if they don't have a tag. Okay. Ooh, I really hope they are not, not liking Tory Birch lately because I got a lot of Tory Birch. I went nuts. I believe these are Mercari also. All right, these are Tory Birch. They're little gym shoes. I'm gonna put these in here. Let me tie these up. They're gonna get real picky with this box. They should take everything, but there's so much good stuff in here. I could see them getting fickle about it and sending back some stuff, but I know I can sell all this stuff on Poshmark just fine or eBay. Okay, what is this bag? Neiman Marcus. It looks like alligator or something. Neiman Marcus. This was thrifted. Uh, $9.99 was the bag. Bags are cool because they're final sale. So, and it's pretty lightweight. Hopefully they're into this. Hmm, this doesn't want to fold very well. 
I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Mm, oh, here's the other shirt. Okay, so again, more Tory Burch. Hopefully they're into Tory Burch. The reason I go Tory Burch heavy is I made like $150 or $60 commission on a pair of these flats. So I just found a lot more of them. Oh, gee, Tory Burch flats. <laughs> this is the Tory Burch flat video, I guess. All right, let's find something else. Um, these are Lucky Brand. Mm, I'm actually gonna pull these. I'm gonna do these on Poshmark. I had some Lucky Brand shoes that I sent in that didn't do so great on Poshmark, or on uh, Fred Up last time. Okie dokie. Tory Bird flats. This will be a great experiment to see which exactly Tory Burch flats sizes and styles and colors sell. So we'll get deep with it. Uh, another pair of Tory Burch flats. This is the easiest video ever. Except my cost of goods, I'm gonna have to refer to Mercari for all of this. I think one of the boxes I got was a bundle. So um, these are Fry Cowboy boots. Fry, super cute. These are, I think, a pretty small size, though. These were also, yeah, these are sixes, and these were also sourced on Mercari for a very good price. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna keep that out. Mm, okay, some more shoes. These are Eileen Fishers. They're more of a comfort situation, but spring is coming, so is summer. Oops. All of these were sourced on Mercari. This is more of a shoe box, and you know, I have faith in shoes. I think shoes can do well. Oh, these are cool because they came in a box, but they're not even the right box, but they were wrapped so nicely. Oh, these are really cute. What size are these? I may want these for myself. Mm. Let's see. Do they say... Oh, yeah, there's seven. I'm gonna put these aside for myself, actually, since there's so many damn pairs of Tori. I think I can pinch the stash just once. All right, um, the, these are DKNY, and it is, these are cashmere. It's a cashmere sweatsuit set. So these are pants. It looks like somebody maybe wore them once and didn't know how to wash them. Um, the bottoms of them, are a little worn so i washed them before i sent them in to lighten that up a little bit these might come back to me let's see i am gonna choose to send them anyways um there is a top that goes with it so we'll send those in cashmere usually does really good on thread up Not sure how cashmere is gonna do in the summer though. So we'll see about that. People still have loungewear, um, loungewear in the summer in the AC. Okay, this is from Yellow Tag Sale at Marshalls. Uh, how do you say this? Cyrus, I think is the brand. And you see this brand at Marshalls all the time. I personally like this brand because it's really comfortable. Um, I think I ran comps, it's a cold shoulder sweater situation. I do take off the Marshall tags. This was $16. This only has an MSRP of $89. So I'm actually going to keep this for uh, Poshmark. I'm not going to put that in this box. Sometimes if you have any of this from doing Amazon orders or whatever, I'll save it to put in the top of my box. So when they cut it open, they don't accidentally cut into my clothes. Although some people are fine with that because if they damage your stuff they should pay you out for it but sometimes they don't offer you very much i think these were things that yellow tag i bought for me that i didn't like how they fit so i'm gonna pull those out for poshmark 
Uh, Max Studio is one of those brands that they also tend to overvalue. So this I actually am going to send in to thread up. $12 Marshall's Yellow Tag Sale is where that came from. So let me take off the Marshall tag. I'm going to cut off this little clear bar of two. I don't want them to think it was from a discount store, which it was. So their regular MSRP is $98. I try to send stuff to ThreadUp that retails for at least over $100 because after paying them their commission to take the pictures and do the listing and then they get a cut of the sale, it's got to be high enough for it to be worth your while to shoot these videos and track the inventory and log in and price adjust and all of that. So uh, let's see what else. What is this? Oh, Vince tends to do well for me on thread up as well. I am going to give this neckline, it's got a, like a raw edge hem, but I want to give it a little trimmy trim so it doesn't look like it's falling apart. Sometimes a little bit of effort can uh, make you a lot of money on thread up. So yeah, just some threads. Uh, this is a size medium and it's just a white shirt. It's like a basic white, but uh, Vince does well for me. The tag said $5.99. It was blue tag. I don't know if blue tag was color of the week that week. In Vegas, color of the week um, used to be 50% off. And I think last time I was at the thrift, I had heard that they stopped doing color of the week. So that's sad. Is this silk? feels more like cotton, but uh, cotton and silk blend. Okay, that's cool. Those are good keywords for searches. It's got a little bit of a high-low style on the bottom too. Ooh, white is hard because you got to keep it clean. I've also heard that a lot of rejected stuff from ThreadUp happens to be white from some people, so we'll see. Let me try to roll it so it has the least chance of getting messed up. Put it on top of the cashmere. Okay, what is this? Theory. Theory is another brand that can do okay sometimes, not always. Uh, this, I believe, is a linen shirt. It was $5.99. Goodwill. Was at least 20% off, I'm sure. Uh, there we go. Okie dokie. Again with the light colors, but spring's coming, so we'll try it. It might be too plain for thread up, but I pay for return assurance. They send it back, I'll list it on Poshmark and eBay. And Mercari. Um, what's this? Oh, this was a brand I think that was a big deal, if I remember correctly. Diane von Furstenberg, probably. Silk, yep. From DVF, Di or regular Diane von Furstenberg. It's a tank top. Typically, I leave tank tops alone. I've gotten burned on Lulu tank tops and just tank tops in general, but this one was super cheap. $4.99 plus I got the discount. What the heck? I might as well give it a whirl. And I believe green tag was half off. So if it was five, it was $2.50. And it's lightweight. So it'll look better photographed on a mannequin than on my wall. So we'll send it in and give it a whirl. Okay. What else is in here? Oh, yes. Okay, so I took a chance, and I may get burned on this, but I'm going to give it a try. This brand, Atien, I don't even know how to say the last. Agner, I have no idea how to even say it. It's a high-end brand. I think their leather does okay. Um, their vintage may do better on eBay. We'll see if ThreadUp will even take it. Um, $17.99 plus I got 40% off. So I remember that day I did shop with my senior who gets me the senior discount. My dad's cool like that. Um, again, we like purses because leather has some value and purses pay out immediately. You don't have to wait for the 21 day return period. I think they're all final sale. So... And there's a bunch of these. So they're either going to love them or they're going to send them back and hate them. Now this one was 
navy blue. I've had this brand do great for me on there and I've had it do not so great, but I did find that leather seemed to be the common denominator. Um, this was, oh, this is Margot, I believe. And it's leather. It's actually really cute. Don't try it on, I'll keep it. $9.99, like I said, I probably got it for 40% off. It is leather. Goodwill. Let me just check it real quick and make sure there's not any funkiness inside. What does that say? Oh, this is Fossil. So this isn't Margo like I thought. This is Fossil, but it looks like a newer style Fossil. And I looked it up and comps were good. So like I said, if they don't take it, they can send it back to me. It's kind of cool how it's laid out too. So the different zipper compartments. So we'll pop this in there. We love purses for thread out. Um, belts do better for me. Not on thread up. I will list this on Poshmark or eBay. Oh, a couple more of these TN bags. Okay. This one had a tag of $12.99 minus 40%. Oh, these are fun. I love vintage guys. They can send this back all day long. I'll have a field day with this stuff. And if I get stuck with it myself, so be it. Um, this one's a little bit of an older style, but I don't know. Some of those cool hipster girls can rock this stuff pretty good. Uh, $12.99. It's got like San Francisco vibes or something. Thrift shop chicks that make everything look cool. I just like how that opens that way. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Put that in there. We're getting to the end of this box. Okay, this, I was thrilled. I remember the day I found this new with tags, uh, Eileen Fisher. It's a big blue dress. It's a good size. Is it a large? Yep, it's a large. Uh, yeah. And I got it for $8.99 plus 20% off. So let's cut that off right now and put that in the box. Ooh, I'm getting excited. I've been stalling on this box for like months. So there's that. And we will roll her up. And keep the tags preserved and nice. Oh, the sale tag's on here. Okay, when this happens, the sale tag, I actually have a heat gun coming today to help me remove this. I wanna take that off because the original tag behind it says $198. I don't really want them to know that this was on sale. So let me, I'm trying to carefully peel off this label. Let's see if it works. Ah, this one came off, of course. This one has not yet, but let me work on it. Hold on. If not, I'll wait till this heat gun comes. These heat guns or a blow dryer, you can just hit it with and it should come off. Oh, it's coming off good. Ha, got it off. So now it looks like that. Yes, you can see a little red, no big deal. They can't see what I bought it for or what they were asking because I bought it for way cheaper. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, that's pretty heavy, but I'm gonna keep going. I haven't gotten in trouble for it being overweight yet. Um, let's see, what's in here? More jeans, huh? Let's see. What's this? This looks lightweight. And it's new with tags. It's Vince Camuto. Hmm size small black dress dresses do good in summer let me send it new with tags what else is in here uh, these are Ann Taylor loft pants I think some of these are rejects that might have come back um, oh these are fun these Crocs I'm gonna keep these out though for Poshmark, not for thread up, because Crocs aren't that expensive to begin with. 
looks like I probably, it said 15, so I probably got them for 40% off. There's money to be made, but not with thread up with those. Um, let's see. Free people jeans. I think I might try to list these myself as well. New with tags. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, okay. I always send my true religion to thread up. That always tends to do pretty well there. Um, I do believe. I don't know if these have been sewn up or not. We're going to try to send them just because they've done so well for me in the past. Like, well, being anywhere between 50, 70, sometimes $100. Um, what are these? I can't see what the hell these are. Oh, page jeans. Page black. I don't know. I'm going to go with, like, Poshmark on those, I think. Uh, what are these? Oh, Tadashi Shoji. These are pants. These tend to do good on thread up too. They're vintage. I'm going to send those. Mm. Mm, maybe it will be one box. I'm poaching a lot of this for Poshmark. Um, okay, there's a Calvin Klein pants suit in here that they did accept one time before, but this is before I ever learned about price dropping 10% every 14, 10 days. Uh, my sales have been much better when I don't send them and just forget about them. If I actually tend to it to keep keep the items coming up in the search. So I'm gonna send in this Calvin Klein suit. It's the right time of year for khaki. Uh, let's see, these are some weird vintage stuff that they're not gonna take. It was actually from my grandma. Um, What's this? Oh, these are fried jeans. Um, fried is pretty good there. Does it have an original sale price on here? Does not. I think I got these at Sierra, that store that's owned by like Marshalls and all that. Uh, fried jeans, I'll put in here. And then we have one, two, three, four more five more pair of shoes and I think I'm going to put them all in the box. Um, these are cowboy boots. These were actually mine. Um, these boots have been through some crazy nights with me, but it's time to let them go. Um, I like them. They just don't fit me like they used to. I think my feet got better or something. <laughs> They don't fit as perfect as they used to. Okay, let's see. Hmm. This shoe is going to be taller than the box. There's those. These are coach. Little coach shoes. Perfect for the season. And then uh, sandals. Hmm. We'll see. I don't know if sending them is the right thing to do or not. If they don't want them, they'll send them back. I'll list them. Those are the Tory Burch Miller sandal. Um, and then these are Coach patent leather. These I did get from a thrift store, but I don't see the tag on them anymore. Um, some of those Tories I actually got from the thrift store. I think they were like five bucks. And then I believe these are from a thrift as well. These are also coach little espadrilles. And that's it for this box. And I guess I'm seeing for a cost of goods video, this is pretty weak because a lot of these things didn't have price tags. So, um, I'm going to have to go back through my camera roll to see if I photograph them at the thrift store. Um, and also some of them, I, like I said, I bought from Mercari, so I'll do an insert on all the things from Mercari. So um, I'll tally my box, and when I go over the spreadsheets for all 20-some of these boxes, um, it'll the stats will all be in there. All right, I'll do a follow-up video um, because most of my boxes are concluding. Uh, basically, I looked at it recently, and the boxes I sent from September 
that started processing probably in October. There was like 20 boxes and the profit after cost of goods, after shipping, after all of that came to about $2,500. So it's cool, but it's not cool. You don't have to do the pictures. You don't have to do the listing. You do have to check the prices and adjust them. Um, and I guess what I found is that some brands are worth it, some brands are not. This box is specifically crafted for brands that I think do well on ThreadUp. Um, and some of the other stuff I think just does better if you just photograph it and list it yourself. Um, if you don't like listing, I recommend using Sellhound. If you need a referral link, let me know. I've been using them to do a lot of my listing lately and it's working out really good. They list eBay first. So I guess I'm uh, using eBay a little bit more than I used to. Um, and then I do use lists perfectly to cross post over to Poshmark and to Mercari. So if you guys have any questions, write in, let me know. My name is Randy. I'm Rolling Rack Posh on Instagram, my Poshmark closet, and over on eBay if you want to check out the stuff in my store. Thanks. Bye.